Namaste. My name is Saranya. I'm a teacher. I'm a published poet. And I believe that women are to be respected, to be held in high esteem, and to be treated on par, if not better than men are. For time immemorial, we've been treating women as something different from men. I'm reminded of what Simone de Beauvoir, the great feminist, spoke about women. She said, women are not born but made. What better than India to exemplify the statement? With the whole world celebrating different days with great pomp and splendor, it would be apt to analyze the position and space that Indian women occupy today. When we compare it with 74 years ago when the country had just gained independence, we see women participating so much more in the present day. From a time when they were participating in nationalist movements to get us freedom, to being pushed into domestic household spaces, to their resurgence as superwomen today. Women in our country have seen it all and done it all. There have been endless debates about gender and how gender is uh, a very uh, touchy subject in our country. And much of it includes the position of women in our country, their education, their health, their economic position, gender equality, so on and so forth. But what we can conclude from all these discussions is one simple thing that the position of women in our country is quite paradoxical. Why is it paradoxical? Because on one hand, we are seeing that there is an increased percentage of literacy among women. Women are now entering professional fields. We can see them everywhere, including the army, the armed forces. But on the other side, we also see the practice of female infanticide, terrible health conditions, and lack of education, still persisting, still continuing a lot of parts. The patriarchal ideologies of the home being a woman's real domain and marriage being her ultimate destiny hasn't changed much. One look at matrimonial advertisements or the very popular Netflix series that a lot of people are talking about today will tell us that all these labels like caste, slim, fair, gentle figure, homemade, home-based, you know, these are some things that show that there are still social mores that have not changed. If one looks at the status of women, then we know that the good things and the bad things are the two sides of the same coin. One side is highly promising and the other is quite bleak. So today, when we are discussing the status of women, one of the main things that come to my mind is that the national female literacy rate was an alarmingly low 8.6%. However, today, there is an existing solution. This has increased by leaps and bounds. There are a lot of acts that have come in place, a lot of economic, social, and educational policies that have been brought to the forte for women to succeed in life. So as young girls, what is it that we have to do? As young women, as women who are in different positions of power, and influence, what is it that we can do? The best thing that we can do is to understand that women are not simply the second gender. Women are human. Women are a promise. Women are hope. The more we understand that equal participation, equal opportunity, and more than anything else, equal perceptions in our dealings with women need to be encouraged. The far greater our nation will be. Jai.